Hello, how y'all doing? This is your sis, Twenty Quine. I want to say welcome to my channel. Thank you guys for um, all your love and support. Um, welcome to my channel, to all the new and old subscribers. Um, I love you guys. For my new subscribers, if you don't know, I do a first fruit video every first of the month. Um, it might be on the first or... It will be my first video that I will put out each month, um, giving back to God, my first fruit, um, dedicating it to y'all, lifting you up, you guys up in the name of Jesus, um, just walking in love and praying and being unified in the name of Jesus. So without further ado, we're going to open up in prayer. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for being God all by yourself. Thank you for your darling son, Jesus. Father, I lift up every each and every individual that comes by this video, Lord God. I lift them up in their spirits, Father, in their minds, in their souls, Lord God. I ask, oh Lord God, that you touch them on today, Lord God, and every day of their lives, Father, in the name of Jesus. I ask that you supply all their needs, Lord God. I ask, O oh Lord God, if they're sick in their bodies, Father, that you would heal them because your word said that Jesus bore our sickness and disease on the cross. And by your stripes, we were healed, Lord God. And I thank you, Lord God, that they are healed. And I ask, O oh Lord God, that the faith come alive in their hearts and their mind and believe what your word say, Lord God. Father, I ask, O oh Lord God, that you heal mentally, physically, Lord God. And Lord God, their inner man, Father, so that they may understand your word, Lord God, and understand that they need your darling son, Jesus, Lord God, to wipe away all their sins, Father. I ask, O oh Lord God, that they turn from their sin for nature, Lord God, and turn towards you, Lord God, so that you can lead and direct their lives, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord God. I pray, O oh Lord God, in the name of Jesus, for families, Lord God, who's in lack, Lord God, financially, Lord God, um, those who are homeless, Lord God, those who just need, Lord God, a touch from you, Father. I ask that you touch them on today, Lord God. And Lord God, I ask, O oh Heavenly Father, that they, Lord God, go searching and seeking and um, willing, Lord God, to um, have you guide their lives, Lord, in the name of Jesus. I lift up all those who have lost loved ones, Lord God, in this past month, Lord God. I ask, oh Lord God, that you soften, Lord God, the hurt, Lord God. I ask that you soothe their hurt, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. And I ask, oh Lord God, let them pray to you, Lord God, for understanding and that you will show them the understanding, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, of why, Lord God, and their questions of why did you take their loved ones or why did you um, allow things to happen, Lord God, and I ask, O oh Lord God, that you help them, Lord God, understand, Lord God, as they seek you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, and Father, all those, Lord God, who think, Lord God, that they don't have nobody, or no one loves them, Lord God, or um, that people is not treating them the way they're supposed to be treated. Father, I ask that you touch those people, Lord God. And Lord God, let them know, Lord God, that you, Lord God, the ultimate one, love them, Lord God. And that's all they need, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Because at the end of the day, Lord God, it's all about you, Lord Jesus. And we thank you, Lord God. And we praise you, Lord God. And we lift you up, Lord God. And Lord God, I cause, I ask, oh Lord God, that you cause everybody on this YT to become unified, Lord God, and walk in 100% true love. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Lord, Lord, the Lord is so good, you guys. Um, thank you guys for tuning in for the first fruit um, for March. Okay, um, I will be talking about loving your enemy. Yes, I know it is a touchy situation because some think they can't love their enemies. You don't have to be um, all up in your enemy's face to love them. You can, um, you can ask God to help you because only God can help you. Because, I mean, some people did so much wrong to people and went out of their way to do bad things to people to um to just do evil to them till they just like they the 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 enemy makes them take root of uh, root in their heart to 
hate those people and and just just without even knowing just wish bad for them and that's not of god so we have to be very mindful we have to be very prayerful to ask god to help us with this but um i'm going to um I'm going to share with you guys from Luke, the sixth chapter, and I'm reading from the New King James Version. Luke, the sixth chapter, I mean, yeah, chapter six, 27 through 36, and I'm going to go through this. And what I'm reading from Luke is whenever you see red in a Bible, you know that is Jesus speaking. Jesus, the Savior, the Son of God <laughs> is speaking. So if you can see, I put it up, these words are in red, okay? And I will be reading from Luke the 6th chapter, 27 through the 36th verse. Love your enemies. But I say to you, who hear, whoever hearing what God, what is, what is God saying, what is Jesus saying? Love your enemies. Do good to those who hate you. Bless those who curse you. <laughs> and pray for those who spitefully use you. You know, those who thinking they're using you, um, but they're not really using you. <laughs> to him who strikes you on one cheek, offer the other also. And from him who takes away your cloak, do not withhold your tonic either. Okay? Give to everyone who asks of you, and from him who takes away your goods, do not ask them back. And just as you want men to do to you, you also do to them likewise. But if you love those who love you, want credit is that to you? For every sinners love those who love them. And if you do good to those who do good to you, what credit is that to you? Something to think about, huh? For even sinners do the same. And if you lend to those from whom you hope to receive back, what credit is, is that for you? Is that to you? For even sinners lend to sinners to receive as much back. But love your enemies. Do good. And lend, hoping for nothing in return. And your reward will be great. And you will be sons of the Most High, sons or daughters of the Most High. For he is kind to the unthankful and evil. Therefore, be merciful, just as your father also is merciful. So Jesus is saying that love your enemies. Um, No matter what they do to you, you still got to love them. You ain't got to be in their face. If you give something to somebody, you give it out of love. You give it because God led you to do it, and you don't re you don't um expect nothing in return. You know um that's different if y'all had a um agreement saying hey I give you this and you give me that yeah, but it's different when you give something to somebody. Um if you feel like you want to give something to somebody, you shouldn't be looking for nothing in return because. If God put it in your, dropped it in your spirit to give to that person and that person, that person don't have to never give you nothing back. God is going to repay you. Okay. Your blessings come from God. So when you give unto God and I, and I say, that's the best way to give. Like if you want to give, give unto God. Okay. Give unto God without expecting nothing from another person. But some people just feel like they obligated to do that. And that's fine. But what I'm saying is if those per people that you bless never give you nothing, you still love them. You don't you don't go talking about I gave such and such this and oh they ain't did this for me. Oh they oh I did this for this person and they didn't do this in return. You're not supposed to be like that. The word of God said that. I just read it. You supposed to do it out of love. You know, you don't do it. Um, for spiteful reasons because you want that person to do something for you you do it because you want to do it and if that person gives something back fine if they don't it still should be fine and you should still walk in love with them but love your enemies okay and your enemies are those who um have spirits in them that 
um allow the devil to take control of them and do all kind of bad things to you you love them you ain't got to be all up in their face you know you ain't even got to um interact with them but pray for them that mean don't let nothing take root in your heart for them because that way you 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 ruining your own self but don't let no hatred or nothing take um root in your heart because hey you got to take care of you you got to get your heart you, your heart got to be right with the father baby so don't let none of that none of that stuff um easily beset you okay keep your eyes on the prize walk in love no matter what um and i'm i'm speaking to you guys about it that's for me too you know i i gotta walk in love people do me wrong i still gotta bite the bullet how they used to say around here bite the bullet and keep on trucking you know if it's if it's for you not to speak to those people again or nothing like that you still hey nothing love nothing no love lost or nothing but god bless you go your way i'll go my way but i don't hate you and i don't wish no harm on you i still pray for you and ask god to help you and one day open your eyes even if we never make contact again or we may not never physically talk but i'm still praying and lifting you up to the father because i know that you need him well we all need him regardless so i say that to say this um no matter what you're going through, no matter what enemies come in your way, um, no matter what you think a situation looks like in your mind, you have to always check it because sometimes the enemy come in our mind and make us think all kinds of different crazy thoughts. Okay? But just, you know, get your get your get yourself. Catch yourself. Jesus, God, help me. Help me, Lord, to be who you call me to be. Help me to love my enemies, Lord. Help me, Lord God, to give what I expected, nothing in return. Because I know one thing, if I got you, I got everything, no matter what. So, I love you guys. Y'all be blessed. And let's walk in love, regardless. Walk in love, be who God called you to be, um, prosper, and all that good stuff. So, I love you guys to walk in love because Jesus is love. And if you love Jesus, you're walking in love too. And this is the first fruit. Mwah. Love you guys. See you guys later.